Hello students this is Shivani Kesri your English subject teacher today we will study a chapter from your English literature book and after that we will do the exercise also so students if you have any question regarding this chapter then do drop it in the comment section now let's start the chapter through the animation video chapter 6 what should we do one day A farmer and his son were on their way to the market with their donkey. The donkey walked by their side. As they walked along, a passerby said, "Why don't you ride on the donkey instead of walking?" Hearing this, the farmer sat his son on the donkey. They continued on their way. Soon they passed a group of men. One of the men said, Look at that lazy boy. He is sitting so comfortably on the donkey while his old father is walking. So the farmer asked his son to get off. He got on to the donkey himself. They had not gone very far when they passed two women. One of the women said to the other, "What a shame. That lazy man rides the donkey." while his poor little son trudges along the farmer heard this he did not know what to do after much thought he made his son sit with him on the donkey they continued thus for some time after an hour they reached the town now the people in the streets began to mock them the farmer stopped and asked a group of them why are you laughing at us the men asked how can you overload that poor animal with yourself and your son aren't you ashamed of yourself the farmer and his son began to feel sorry for the donkey they got off the donkey and began to think what they should do they thought and thought and thought at last the farmer had an idea they picked up a strong stout branch from the ground They tied the donkey's feet together and hung the poor animal upside down from the branch. Then they raised the long pole with the donkey to their shoulders. In this way, they carried the donkey along amidst the laughter of all who met them till they reached the market. Just then, the donkey got one of its feet loose and kicked out. This caused the son to drop his end of the pole. The donkey became free and ran away. The farmer and his son sat on the ground. The son started crying. The farmer held his head in his hands and said, "You can never please everyone." Students, this is an exercise of this chapter. If you want, you can pause the video and do it. Thank you, students.